We are at the Ted Harvey Conservation Area. We're overlooking the South Impoundment, which is a 450-acre impoundment that was built in the 1960s. And what we're doing is we're restoring the dikes that were built in the 1960s. These dikes were built with drag lines, and we're bringing in uh, better suitable material to build up dikes that will withstand hurricane-level events. Um, and we're also installing water control structures, and these water control structures are designed to allow water to come in when the fish and wildlife wants it. We need to manage the water because the water levels are very important for waterfowl. So during the fall, winter, we want the water levels risen so the food resources that we grow in the, in the summertime become available for waterfowl. Also, the, the water levels are important for hunting. So we wanna be able to have hunting access during the winter time, but also, or finally, during the spring migration or the early migration of the shorebirds, we want to draw down the water, get the mud flats to be exposed and expose all the food resources for the migratory shorebirds. So it's kind of a, a, a water manipulation for waterfowl and shorebirds and public use. So this dike that was built in 1960 is over 5,500 feet long. It starts here at the parking lot and it goes all the way towards the St. Jones. And once it hits the St. Jones, it follows the St. Jones and then it makes a dog leg towards the Delaware Bay and terminates at the, the beach. Oh yeah, we are expecting to open this up for hunting this fall. Unfortunately, in last year we, we shut down the impoundment uh, because we were doing the restoration project. And years past, the hunting was, was really dictated on high tide. You can only get out during a high tide, but once this project is done, you can get out and hunt. At, it can be super low tide on the St. Jones, the water on the inside is going to be there, so it's going to. We're, we're looking forward to being able to get uh, hunting opportunities here again. If I was to summarize the, the the goal and the purpose of this project, it would be to restore the habitat primarily for waterfowl and shorebirds, but also enhance the hunting opportunity, enhance the wildlife viewing opportunity, and also make it so that people that come out here from all different ages and all different uh, communities can enjoy this beautiful scenery that we have in the Bay. Shore.